Hello viewers, in this video I am going to demonstrate how to install SUSE Linux Enterprise Server 12. I have installed SUSE Enterprise Linux 11 in my previous video and it is pretty much similar. So I am going to create a profile in VMware Workstation, uh, VMware vSphere client first and then I will deploy or load the OS. Ok, so let me create the profile, I click new virtual machine typical vm name is slash 12 next and i'll specify the data store where i need uh, this for os to install and i'll specify the linux version here so i don't have linux enterprise 12 here so i will going to select 1164 bit this is because the VMware v, uh, VMware ESXi version it is pre uh, pretty old so that's why I'm unable to see this here but uh, this one is also going to work so we don't have to worry next so I will go with single Ethernet virtual card next and 16 GB for root OS next and I will finish it okay so here is the profile which is created i'll go to edit setting 1 gb memory specify uh, i'll just specify as 2 gb okay so it will be a little faster otherwise if i specify 1 gb it will be a slow so i'll start this vm and i still need to attach the iso I'll go to ISO and I will attach it and I'll press Ctrl Alt insert to reboot the system and here is the screen for welcome okay so we are going to install this new installation and there is no OS installed in this profile so this is not going to be upgrade so instead it is going to be an installation okay so it is loading okay so here it is a little similar to Red Hat Linux but uh, yeah so if you wanted to see what's running in background just press escape and see it's loading this installation stage one by one So initializing the installation environment still in progress. Okay, so here is your license agreement. Please accept and say next. because without accepting the license agreement you won't be able to go further and you won't be able to install the ISO uh, install the operating system so that is mandatory option okay so here is the page for registration so if you want to register your system with novel you need to have the email id and the registration code so you can register your system with novel so right now i don't have that and i'm going to skip registration 
if you would like to install in, in additional packages likewise FTP HTTP and others you can check this button here and you can specify this additional packages are going to install apart from your operating minimal uh, RPMs so if you want them you can specify now and this will going to install while uh, this installation process will start and uh, you don't need to install them later manually so i don't i don't need any one of them now for this demonstration i think and the basic installation is fine so i'm just going to go with default option next and here is a page for partitioning so i'll create partition instead uh, default option so if, if i select next and go further it will create a partition automatically so i don't want that to be happen and i need to create manually so here is a disk 16 gb disk which which i have attached while well, create uh, this profile so i'll create a custom partition next Okay, so in system overview, you can see the types, hard disk, RAID, volume management, NFS, PTRFS. So it is still loading, it should show the hard disk which is attached to this VM. Okay, here it is. So right click, add partition. I'll go with primary partition next and i will specify 12 gb for this support partition and click next and it is an operating system partition so i'll click next and it is already specified this less one point and i'm i'm going to format this as xt4 file system type finish it should create the part the partition here and it should show here it is a little slow it is still trying to create the partition in background and it should show here okay so here is the partition created so let me create an additional partition called slash boot okay so 200 MB is enough for boot partition so and select next opening system partition next and select ext4 and mount point is slash boot finish okay so slash boot has been created i'm going to create swap partition now so for swap i'll give one zero okay one gb next and here is the swap roll and 
first stem type is swap and mount point is swap we are good in there finish let that swap partition create it is taking a little time Okay, it is taking. Uh, okay, I got it. So now <coughs> swap is created. Now we are all good. So let me. I was just trying to see the summary, but it's still loading. Okay, hard disk here. So we are done with the partitioning. So now I'm going to select accept and uh, select next. Here I will select the time zone. My time zone is India, Kolkata, and I click next. So if you want to create an additional user you can create here or you can create those users later once your operating system up and running. I'll say next. Yes. You need to specify the root password. Next. It is giving a warning saying it is a weak password, so I'm just going to ignore that. okay so now in software section if you want to do edit and for example if you, if you want x window system or if you want application or gen virtualization software you need to install as or kvm you want to install so just select here and say okay so for now this is just a base system i don't need those additional uh, rpm to be installed in my system like uh, ldap or dscp dns there are many options here so this depends on you like yeah if the system is going to be an oracle based system or if it is an sap based system so you you would probably need both this to be check and install okay so um, i don't need them for now so it is going to be a base installation and basic rpms is going to install so i'll select okay so likewise you can select if you wanted to do any settings here is a kdm settings if you wanted to set up kdm now you can do that and also after your system is up and running we can configure that so i i already have a plan to have a separate video for kdm configuration so i'm not going to configure kdm now i'll go with the default options and click on install so installation has been started it is six percent completed now 10% completed so it will take a little time probably 10 minutes so I'm going to pause this video and once this completed 100% I'll be I'll uh, resume back okay so okay so installation has been completed and system has been rebooted once install uh, all the packages uh, has been ins installed and require configuration has been done it will automatically reboot your system and it will give you a screen like this so now 
you have to log in with your username and password so here it is so your SUSE enterprise linux 12 is ready to use okay so if you wanted to launch a console so you have to go to utility and kinom ter terminal and this is your username i think it has decided by the os so in this file you have to change like whatever you want to have i've just given as slash 12 and also name slash 12 let me log out and log in one more time so here is your sys enterprise linux 12 i have created a partition uh, file system type with ext4 and with size of 12 gb and boot partition is 200 mb and i have given 1 gb of uh, swap and 2 gb of memory so this is it uh, this is how you have to install social linux enterprise servers 12 it is pretty much simple and straightforward i don't think you will have any issue to install uh, this opening system but still if you have any questions or query regarding this please uh, write your comment in youtube comment section i will try to get back to you thank you so much for viewing this video have a good day